All right, so me, Leah Joe, Mama over there, and Luella, we are out at one of our local conservation sites today. We thought it would be fun, as pretty as it is today, to go on a little adventure and try to maybe find some mushrooms, some greens, maybe a deer shed if we see one. Uh, stay away from the bees <laughs> and uh, just generally get out of the house for a little while uh, We really enjoy doing this when the weather's fit to do it uh, It's always really nice. So we will do some recording uh, Show you guys a little bit of our adventure today and we'll get back to you later Come tag along What do you think? <laughs> you excited? Yes, all right, so my wife found a mushroom but I don't know what kind it is. They're not old. They're not dehydrated out. Uh, it seems like a good mushroom, but I ain't never seen one like this. So I'll show you guys. Growing on a tree branch. Not pheasant's back or dryad saddle. Pores on the bottom. It's kind of a rusty color here. So. Oh. Not sure what it is. There's a few of them growing here. Uh, we'll leave them on the tree just because I don't know what they are. Found some mushrooms to learn about. If you know what they are, comment down below. She did find a violet a while ago. We had all kinds of dandelions we could be picking, but we're kind of walking past them. We're really kind of mushroom hunting today, uh, trying to see what we could find. Uh, pheasant back was growing on the stump at the house, and so theoretically we should at least find some Maybe some pheasant backs if we can come across some good elm trees or a, a morel or two, hopefully. Uh, but anyhow, we'll get back to you. We got a fussy kid, got a pregnant wife, and high heat. So I don't know how long we're going to last. But we're going to keep on keeping on here. Thank you guys for tagging along, and we'll show you what else we come across today. Good. Mama and Lou Bug. Picking violets. Leah Joe not happy about the situation today. We are at a very public conservation area. You can hear the interstate behind us. Hey, sissy. This is the harsh reality. This is what happens when you get your kids out. But it's all right. So this place really is beautiful. We've never been in here. It's right close to town. And truthfully, we like to be further out. I kind of don't like being able to hear the interstate. But it's pretty. It's real pretty. We got to keep moving. Leah Joe's in her car seat. And she's fussy. But the girls is picking violets to make violet jelly. And I'm just walking trying to keep the little and occupied pointing out a few violets for them and uh, keeping my eyes peeled in case you know somebody missed the mushroom walking the trail uh, but we'll just keep on a keeping on here this this morning afternoon evening a lot hotter today and it was high was like low 70s and our car all going the way here said 81 it's hot it's supposed to storm later be a good old Missouri day here today what do you got, Mama? Let's take a look. Woo, big old mess of violets. What do you think, Leah? Are you still mad? Yeah. Yeah. You girls keep it up. I'm going to go this other way. I see. Oh, look at them all that Lou's got. Good job, girly. We have big lives in here. And we show you we have pink flowers in the house you forgot. And uh, these ones are pretty cool, which is a bunch. And we got uh, a bunch more to pick, don't we? Yeah. Well. Yeah. We picked <laughs> quite of them though. Quite a bit. Alright, let me tell need some more though. Let me tell them some stuff real quick, okay? So how quickly <laughs> things change here in the state of Missouri. Yesterday was supposed to be low 70s, instead it was low 80s. Uh, and I'll go ahead and put that on the front part of this video. 
Uh, we went and we kind of was kind of well. We really want to try to find some mushrooms uh, and pick some greens and stuff. And we went and not even thinking. And Leah, our littlest one, was fussy uh on and off uh basically just uh, whined and cried for about three hours and we were trying to satisfy her and we'd get her satisfied for 10 or 15 20 minutes and then she'd go back to crying she just wanted a nap but she would we took a stroller and everything but anyhow um we did my wife and daughter did pick some violet and they made some violet jelly this morning and uh the dandelions are in full bloom and so this morning uh, I went and picked some greens, some plantain and dandelion greens, and I'll show you more about that later. Uh, and we're picking some dandelion blooms also for them to make some jelly later also. Uh, some dandelion jelly, which is one of my favorites. It is delicious. Uh, tastes a whole lot like honey. I can't wait to eat some fresh dandelion jelly. But part of this video, uh, I've done showed you guys plantain, and I've done showed you dandelion. And uh, I want to show you guys also how to use this stuff, right? Not just how to identify it but then how to use it some different ways and so we'll talk about that uh also as i was picking this stuff today i thought all i've shown them is the plants themselves they're probably thinking you don't do nothing with it you just show it to us and so i want to show you guys that we actually do uh use the stuff that we talk about uh we enjoy making the stuff uh my wife made that violet jelly this morning uh with her brand new uh got it for christmas from a, a family member thank you family member uh brand new water bath canner she put it to work this morning making dandy or making violet jelly and uh so we're gonna pull some dandelions me and luella uh we already picked the greens we're kind of unorganized this morning uh but the wife's inside washing up the greens so we can get them on the dehydrator on top of that we both uh know that we feel a lot better drinking that tea and so uh she's going ahead and getting some washed up and we'll get some on the dehydrator we'll go ahead and make a batch of tea i'll show you kind of how we do it uh, and then you guys do it however you want to but i'll at least show you how we do it uh, so keep coming along with us there's a long video uh it's going to be pretty short on the uh beginning part of that video uh of the trip yesterday because uh, it was a pretty miserable trip for the most part <laughs> but we tried uh, to make the best of it but anyhow uh, we just want to be honest with you guys let you guys know it's not always fun and games right uh, uh there's work involved in this right so this way of living doesn't mean that you won't work right in fact you work really hard uh but you're physically working really hard um and mentally maybe not so hard it's not as high stress uh, and uh, but you still have to get out and work you can't just lay around on the couch all day so uh, we'll show you guys I get grumpy doing that anyway uh, it's really windy but we will try to show you guys what we're doing today <laughs> hopefully without a trip to the emergency room come back through there like you're supposed to so just real quick I, I told you guys a couple days ago man I I think maybe I'll seed our new place wherever we end up someday uh, with dandelion and plantain and I know it sounds silly, um, but you um, it's so much faster just having this stuff right at home, right out your back door, right out your front door. Uh, you're not traveling 30 minutes to a place and walking around and trying to find it and all that. You know right where it is, uh, which makes it handy. It makes it really nice. And uh, the only other thing I want to say about this, and then I'll hush up and we'll pick some dandelion blooms, is... Uh, if you want to have a yard that's got wild edibles in it, such as dandelion and plantain and all that, uh, you're not going to mow it every single solitary week, right? You're going to have to let that stuff grow, which means you're going to have to let your yard get a little taller than a golf course, right? <laughs> you're going to have to, uh, maybe every other week is usually kind of how we uh, manage it. Plus, I pull grass for the rabbits and stuff, and uh, once again, about every other week, and I know uh, a lot of people that kind of goes against their grain. It did me. Uh, I hate having a tall yard. I've had a tall yard a time or two. Uh, I don't like it. I've had mowers break down, and I've been uh, really, really busy, and I've been able to cut the yard before. Uh, but to purposefully just, you know what, this week we're not going to mow. We're going to let that stuff grow so I can go and pull greens was hard for me to comprehend. But when you think about it in this way, right, your yard is working for you by doing it this way. Your yard is providing for you by doing it this way. You are getting food from your yard instead of just spending money, cutting grass, running the lawnmower, uh, and all of that. Uh, you're going to save money by only running your lawnmower half as much if you're mowing every other week, right? Uh, so that means you're going to save some money on fuel. You're going to save a little wear and tear on your lawnmower. 
and you're going to get food from your yard uh, saving on your grocery bill. So really, truthfully, it's a money saving thing. It's just hard for our American brains sometimes to wrap our head around. But we're going to go ahead and pick some dandelions. lil has got a handful of rocks that we are not going to make jelly out of. Are they cool rocks? You guys want to see? These are cool rocks. Yeah. Why don't you go put them genuine Ozarkian rocks where they came from? Over here. Okay. So, guys, you can see this. Here's our sewer clean out coming out of the back of our house, right, right here. Um, here's our back steps, right here. There's where we keep our firewood. Um, so I came down the steps and turned, and here, right here, right here at the back of the house. Uh, this isn't a place where a bunch of chicken poop and rabbit poop is going to get. Um, is a mess of dandelion blooms. So we're going to stop and we're going to pick these dandelion blooms. And then we're going to go to a different spot in the yard. Luella playing. She's already been hard at work. I don't know if you guys can even hear this as windy as it is. But she's picked probably two cups of dandelion or a cup anyway. Of dandelion for us this morning and. Uh, this is one thing about kids, man. Let them, let them work with you, but let them play too. Keep it fun for them. That way, they don't despise the work that they're doing. So, getting a pretty good mess of them here. Once again, front door dandelions all around the storm shelter. We'll make our way over to a, another little spot. My wife did make a request that don't get them from right around the chickens and the rabbits. So I kind of get it. I kind of get it, uh, not to just get those ones, but uh, we're going to work through here uh, and see what we can do. She's full of it this morning, too much coffee I think. So we'll show you guys real quick. Well, they might opened up real good yet this morning, it's kind of cloudy. We'll go back over here where there's several of them. We'll go through and pick some more, and I'll show you guys kind of what we're looking at. See all of these little dandelions up through here. That's not dandelion, that's wild mustard. But there's a whole bunch of dandelion down through here. That's the old garden area. That stuff flat took off on us. It looks pretty, but uh, it ain't it ain't garden by no stretch. But anyhow. What we'll do is we'll just methodically work our way back and forth and back and forth and we'll get the rest of these dandelions picked up. Then we'll show you guys the jelly. Here's that same spot with a lot less yellow. Now, I did leave some of the ones that ain't opened up real good yet. Plus, person don't want to clear cut the things. You want to be able to give the honeybees a little something to eat. Alright guys, next time you see us we'll probably be Doing something inside, it's starting to rain. Alright. So I want to show you guys a little bit of what has taken place so far today. There is some violet jelly that my wife made. First time ever making it. We've already tasted some. It was in the pot and it is delicious. <clears throat> right now we're about to switch jobs. But she is laying plantain out on a dehydrator. Now, I don't like buying stuff if you don't have to, but a dehydrator is a worthwhile investment, don't you think, babe? Yeah. Now, so we'll dehydrate this stuff out, break it down, put it in jars, and it will keep for a long time as long as you get it good and dry, and it makes some really good tea, huh? Yeah. Even better with a little honey in it. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? You like this part of the job? Not this part. No, let's just be honest, right? No. This part's awful. The cleaning and the, all of that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not good. I caught you eating peanuts, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. You're pregnant. Eat what you want. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't think we've told y'all. <laughs> Have we? We ain't told them. No. We're expecting another little one uh, coming soon. Now, apparently Luella has an announcement. She went coming soon like September, not like super soon. But uh, be praying for us. I pray that everything continue to go well uh, and all that good stuff. I was going to tell you guys that the, my daddy and my mommy, they have that.
Oh, we got peanuts. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> so, I'll show you guys what else we got going here. This is the job the wife's getting ready to do. Here's the dandelions. You gotta cut the green part off because it's bitter. Save the yellow part. She'll put one in the one bowl and one in the other, and then we'll make some jam. And we will catch up to you guys later. All right, so quick progress video. Uh, I want to show you guys real quick. Like, um, we made some dandelion and plantain tea um, because truth be told, my wife's hurting today too, and so um, I'll show you guys kind of what we did there. Get over here, maybe a little bit better light. Here we go. Let's show you guys. So there are dandelion and plantain greens in this strainer thing. Now we do have a little metal tea um, thing you can use to make your own herbal tea uh, that we'll use most of the time, but I just got this today because it was quick, fast, and easy. Uh, I did put one baggie of black tea, regular. We're big sweet tea drinkers around here. So uh, I think it helps the flavor a little bit. Um, this is good by itself with just those two, um, but it's more gooder with the <laughs> black tea in it, I think, anyway. My wife has made, got all these petals cut off and is ready to add them to her dandelion yes to her dandelion uh, jelly that we will be making water pot there that we will use the water bath canner and then over here in our dehydrator we have a dehydrator Let's see if I can take this off without making it bad full of dandelion and plantain for future teas so, show you guys some finished product uh, whenever it gets done, but I do want to catch you up. Now, I'll tell you uh, real quick, if you're going to make some of that tea uh, like we made, like I showed you a while ago, uh, I think the best probably way, um, when, they're, when it's fresh greens especially, um, is to boil them fresh greens in the water while uh, you're warming up the water, while you're getting, in, you know, like usually classically you know, how we make tea. Um, you boil the water, take it off the heat, put your tea bag in, let it steep for a while. Uh, but with these greens, I want to really break them down and really pull the nutrients out of them. Uh, and so uh, we wanted to just go ahead and uh, add those. My wife was asking me if she should dump the rest of those dandelions, and I was giving her the head nod. Yes, you should. Uh, so more dandelion flavor, the better, I reckon. I wonder if it'll taste more honey y. But anyhow, wanted to give you guys a quick deal. Um, so. How do we drink this tea? This tea uh, is super concentrated in this pot. And so uh, we'll pour it over into like a quart jar and then we can just uh, put that quart jar in the fridge uh, and keep it in there. And every morning we can just pour a little bit in a cup, add some water to it. Um, I like to add honey uh, and a little bit of apple cider vinegar uh, to it. it. Makes for a really tasty drink uh, in the mornings. And it helps with your, it's tasty and it will help with things like arthritis uh, headaches. Uh, even I seen today, uh, plantain helps with high blood pressure. Did you know that? I didn't have a clue. Anyhow, um, that's how we do it. Super concentrated version. Put it in the fridge. That way you're not making tea every single day, right? Put it in the fridge. Um, pour a little bit in your cup and then fill the rest up with water. Works out great. Works out fantastic. It's not a pain then trying to make yourself herbal tea every single day. Uh, you make it, I don't know, once a week or so. Uh, make enough that you can pour some off in a cup, and it's good to go. All right, guys, we will show you some final product later. We have to do the work. It doesn't just appear. It doesn't just happen, right? You got to do some work. All right, we'll be back. All right. So I want to show you guys some final product of uh, some stuff that we made today. Uh, by we, I mean mostly my wife. Uh, I just tried to stay out of the way and help out where, the, <laughs> where that I could. Um, but anyhow... I'll show you guys real quick so this is some of the dandelion jelly uh, this particular batch turned out real dark but we had extra dandelion that we had picked and so we just went ahead and threw it in the the tea mixture which I guess I should have recorded that um, basically you just make a tea out of the dandelion petals and then you make jelly out of the tea uh, my wife put dand jelly on there, and I said, it sure is dandy. Yeah, good stuff. 
course the violet jelly and then here is our super concentrated medicine tea in our quart jar um, no that's not white lightning <laughs> that is uh, just our medicine tea made out of the dandelion and plantain uh, we've already drank some already noticed the benefits just this evening drinking some of that and so once again quart jar full it'll just take a little bit in each cup because it is so concentrated and then we just add some water and ice in our cup and we are good to go wanted to show you guys uh, that it's more than just identifying the plants that you actually can and should uh, should use them i got the hiccups while i go at the end of this video and it won't go away <laughs> anyhow um put your plants to good use i'm trying to get rid of the hiccups and we'll catch you guys later <laughs>